Goalkeepers, and welcome back to another special Friday episode of Aerius Goalkeeping. Today we're going to be working on an area that I think a lot of younger keepers have problems with. It's catching the ball while diving, and I can understand this problem. There can be a ton of different factors that are causing keepers to parry or slap at shots instead of catching and holding on to them the first time. From confidence to form, eye contact, and to jumping strength, any one of those can be a deciding factor when it comes down to making that sweet in-air diving catch and hold. So to start out our session, we go into a nice and simple lunge and squat exercise to stretch out our legs and get those jumping muscles primed for our first drill, which covers coming over your knee and springing forward to dive and catch an easy service. For this drill, I like to line up cones along the diving line to help illustrate to my keeper how much ground they are taking up when they dive. If the keepers don't attack the ball, then they won't move forward much, forcing them to dive a whole lot more to cover this distance. Since this is a simple underhanded service, our keepers should be working on watching the service all the way into their gloves. We want to help build up confidence in our holds by making sure our body gets comfortable catching the shot when it is airborne. The golden rule for all goalkeeper training is repetition is key. If you are having trouble holding onto a ball while diving, try doing this drill a few times. It does help up build the leg muscles used to spring forward, plus get the right attacking technique down. And it does give your hands that catching practice without fear of failure. Once you get good at dealing with an easy service, move it on up to a stronger one-handed service or if you can, a volley from the ground. Our next drill we're going to move on to building up those leg muscles by having our keepers jump over knee high cones and then quickly diving back over the cones to catch a simple middle height service. Here we're working on a few important areas from creating that explosive burst to dive over the cones with no run up to landing and using the ground as your third hand to secure your hold. And to start, you will see some of my keepers do step in front of the cones and then dive, which is a fine way to work on diving if you don't think you can clear that knee-high dive. But if you really want to test yourself, you want to step into the forward cone and clear it as much as possible. It might sound easy, but it is difficult to jump that high off of one leg. And if you can get there, creating that power to go over the cone and reach the shot, making the hold on that shot will be a lot easier because your body is within reach of the ball, giving your hands more control over the shot. If you don't have enough power to create to get to the shot, then it'll be a lot harder to get your hands over the ball and make a simple, safe hold. Our next drill again is very simple, covering the quick shuffle step footwork that keepers should be able to do if they want to be prepared to shift quickly across the face of goal and then set to jump and make a simple diving save. Just like in game, the keeper has done well to get in the right position, then they should be within diving range of most any shot. The two step shuffle is super important in this drill. It helps the keepers always be ready in the keeper ready position and keeps them squared with the shot. Again, the service is a simple, harder service from the hands. Remind all of the servers that this whole session is about creating confidence in our keepers' hands by allowing them to catch the ball with easier services. And this next drill is again working on building strength across your whole body by starting out having our keepers jump over knee-high hurdles with one leg and using that same leg to then dive for an easy serve. This is when our keepers will see just how weak our legs are by themselves. It is a killer drill to work on and definitely builds on leg strength necessary to make your dives more powerful, which in turn will make your holds a lot easier and better. Since these dives are killer, I expect most of our keepers are going to barely reach the service, and I don't expect many holds in this drill. But if you can hold on to the shot, do it, and every practice always go for perfection. And once you do a few sets on both legs, do a set allowing the keepers to use both of their legs to jump and dive. The difference they will feel in their dives and handling will look and feel like night and day for them. Now that our keepers are definitely tired from all the jumping and diving, we move on to an exercise that requires quick thinking and of course diving technique. This is just a simple diamond set a little wider than our keeper's stance with two servers covering separate angles. One server is set with odd numbers and the other is set with even numbers. The keeper must decide if the number called out is odd or even and then touch the cones that are connected to the angle of service. Then the ball will be served in and the keeper must dive out of the diamond to attack and hold on to that service. <laughs> and our final drill covers a situation that happens if for some reason you flub and you have to make that big double save. We all know mistakes happen and keepers are made to pay for them. So we have to prepare for those moments, just in case we can save our own butts. 
The double save drill is pretty straightforward. Shuffle yeah, through cones yeah, to cover yeah, a near yeah. post blast and then get up and yeah, come across yeah. for a far post place shot where the player sees you out of position and is trying to catch an inside of the foot goal. This drill is all about will and perseverance to push through those heavy legs and get to that final game winning double save. And that was my video covering a full goalkeeper session on holding on to a catch while diving. Let me know what you thought about the video and if you liked it, don't forget to click that like button and subscribe. Thank you guys so much and I'll see you guys again very soon.